with marks and then go to visual marks. If I leave it named easy, yep, every time you do it, it'll overwrite itself. Can it be a different name? If you want to save it, give it a name. So in this case, we're going to call it Transpac. Click, make a guess at the start location. Does it matter if it's on land or water? No. No? You guess at the finish location. Okay. Then oh, can, wow, look at that. It tells you I can either race up here to turn it off, or I can hit escape. Yeah, I'm actually trying oh, to find does it. Okay, okay. So now. You got two points. Two points. So now I zoom in at the start. Did you get an email saying your payment declined, or? And you can still move that mark. Okay, cool. That mark. Mm -hmm. I can get in the right location. I can go right click, Tomorrow. edit. If I have latitude, longitude from the race committee, I can. Type ah, it in. nice. Is this for Global Star Service? Start it. Okay. Lock it. Um, that way it can't be moved. It can't be moved accidentally. So that's my guess. Now, hey, West End of Catalina. Well, what's our lane on there? Right click. Yeah, this is satellite phone store. Insert mark. Yeah, I apologize. Because now you need to be able to say, well, really, I'm going to run out to exactly. that point. That, so that's my, really my first point of the race. So I've added that point. Now, I want to be three miles off the beach with that point. Right click, edit mark zero. Really? And then it won't let you drag in more than oh, three well, miles. But I just want to draw a circle around it. And I want to say mark range circles are on. Mark range circles. Now you know what your range say, is. Nice. And I go to edit mark zero. Catalina. Catalina, and go three nautical miles. Lock it. Lock it, and I want to leave this one to port. Now when I come over this, it gives me my small comment to say that's a three nautical mile circle. On your port. Now I can do the exact same thing doing this. Ah, cool, that little ruler. So that's, that's, that's set, huh? That's set. So I like the graphical, I like the graphical interpretation of the range circle. Now we get to the finish line. And we have a 100 mile check in. So, what does that mean? Well, 100 miles out, we have to call the race committee and say, here we are, here's our ETA. On your phone or email's good? Um, email for the 100 mile, then for the further check ins, I think it's VHF for 25. You guys will do it. So, obviously, I missed that one by quite a bit. something about there and right click. This is really the first thing you need to do almost, huh? Exactly. Right click, edit, and we can go 100 mile check in. Oh, range circle, oh cool. You give it like a name, uh, yeah, 100 mile finish. check or finish? Finish, and for yeah. my comment, I did 100 nautical miles. Ah, okay. So, now when I so zoom as out, you're looking at this and you're getting in that circle, you know, out, oh, there, gotta get on the there phone. I go. So it doesn't matter where I get from, whether I'm here or there, there's my 100 nautical mile circle. Now, same thing here, I probably have a check in it at uh, Cocoa Head. So I can right click, insert a mark there. We'll have a guess. Edit Cocoa. And maybe we have a 25 mile check in, so let's do it off of here. Locked, and we'll leave this one to starboard. Check. Now we have our some semblance of a course roughly laid out. Next now, step for a racer would be to bring in their boat puller file. Exactly. So there's already some loaded in there. I think. Sail, sail, pullers. Now let's just load something in there. What would you say would be the most common boat out of this list? I don't know. Call it a Manitou 47. That's a okay. Middle. Well. Middle speed boat. What a matrix of the looking file, man. <laughs> does that take into account what? The displacement of the boat or the sails exactly. or what all, is that? All the above. Yeah. So we're looking at upwind wind angle, upwind projected boat speed for four knots of wind. Oh. 10 knots of wind, 41 degrees, seven knots. It's really Very, like a matrix. Exactly. So graphically versus tablically. Very cool. So now we have a polar file in there. So now are you online right now? 
Uh, the computer just needs to connect. Sally Onstler, connect. And this is uh, this is a step we'd normally be using our satellite phone or some type of internet connection. <clears throat> Here we're just going to use a local Wi-Fi. Weather. Sail docks. Okay. Draw the square. Click and drag. Draw the rectangle. And these are all the settings you can. How many days do I want it for? Well, for a slow boat, let's get all the days. Sure. Quarter degree is the highest resolution we can get for the GFS. That's pretty good, actually. Pre race, I want rain. When I'm on the sat phone, I don't want to get that parameter. Okay. I get grip file. And then you have to go to now, I think, right? There's a grip file. What did you do to pull the grip up? Did you hit now? Oh, or? I just hit sail docks. Oh, and is it done? Try. It's done. When that green, oh, it says exactly. success. So now we're looking. Now, at any point before you grab the grip file, does it tell you the size? No. No. So you're hoping you need but to fool I, with that. I normally play with that ahead of time. Okay. But you see the nice thing about adding the rain fields shows up in this purple shading here. Oh, cool. It really helps to find frontal boundaries anywhere. So it kind of gives you an extra layer. On the sat phone, it's just too expensive to download that much most of the time. Gotcha. Because this file is probably close to 300K maybe. Oh, I can tell you exactly. Oh, really? Because you should have the grip file history, right? Uh, expedition data folder. That's cool that it saves that. Rip. Predict when doesn't save all these for you. And there she is. And that's actually a 2.6 megabyte file, 1,000 kilobytes roughly in a megabyte, 2.6. Yeah, that's going to be doable on a fleet prop, man, but yeah. not over a sat phone. Yeah, but that was 14 days, so you'd never yeah. grab a 14-day file underway. You'd grab like three days, five days maybe? You'd grab two days at high resolution and seven days at low resolution. Giving you that outlet. Like that. Exactly. So you have what's most important in high resolution, then you have something for the rest of it. So now I go into... How do we get our run lines? Settings. Optimal. We don't want to start from position time because we're not doing it from position time, but we want to start right now. Ah, uh, okay. That's how you can tell it when so, to yeah, start. Let's say start tomorrow. Let's start on the 15th. Okay. Check. Optimize. Ah. Uh, I want to switch to grid base since I have starboard and port marks. Optimize. Green bar comes through. Uh, we have a setting wrong. Let's turn off the mass avoid vector chart land. Let's see what that does. Then range filters. Let's take a look. Everything's okay there. Okay. Everything's okay there. I don't know what's going on. The funny thing is, it's giving us a route. Okay. It is giving us a route, huh? So, another function you can do is multiple if you're doing a delivery. Well, here's the issue. These were say, all let's do you. 10 you runs, 24 hours. Five runs. Is there anywhere you tell it like, hey, I don't want to be in seas greater than this, mm -hmm. or waves, or winds? Sure, that's in the optimal that's advance. Right. There we go. So then we just did five runs over five days. What do those different runs mean? Different start dates. Different start dates? So here we are looking at, if we zoom oh, in. Oh, this is like departure planning. Exactly. So here I'm looking, it's similar to the predict when departure planning. Yeah. So here I'm looking at various departure dates and where I'd be with my routes. I can also look at it okay. in a table format. Which oh, cool. And this is a really slow polar, so I'm running out of weather file. That's why these didn't complete, because I only have a 14-day file. Um, it's a slow boat. It won't make exactly, it in 14. Exactly, exactly. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So. Very cool, though, people. That is weather routing from one of the best in the business already means. Hope you enjoy it.